Hey everyone, Shamrock here with a stack guide for you. Uh, so this is not a boss guide or a dungeon guide like I normally do. This is just a really quick overview of how you should be prioritizing your stats. Um, if you want a really in-depth guide, uh, this is not it. This is really just like super quick so you can look and see and then go for it. Um, but if you do want something that's really in-depth, I would say go to go to WoWhat or maybe Icy Veins. Um, or you know, you can ask maybe one of the more veteran shamans on the um, on the rest of shaman discord you know the ones who actually do the theory crafting and, and do the math and all that stuff because that is definitely not me um, i'm just going to tell you what what the general consensus is among the rest of shaman community right now and what has worked for me um, okay so going into our uh, three three main secondary stats which would be uh sorry four of them uh critical strike haste mastery and versatility Okay, so I'm going to start with haste. Uh, haste is a little bit ambiguous because it's going to differ for every single player, depending on your playstyle, depending on what abilities you prioritize and what you cast, and also just like um, how comfortable you are in different settings with with different you know um, speed spells. So I personally run with 15% haste, and that is perfect for me. I'm very happy with my cast timing. I don't think it's too fast. I don't think it's too slow, um, but that might differ for somebody else. So um, once again, you just kind of want to get haste to a... a the gen like the golden rule is get haste to where you feel comfortable with your cast speed and like i said that's going to be different for everybody um if you're looking for a number um i would say anywhere between 12 and 17 percent and once again this is not math this is just me you know kind of assuming what what most people would be comfortable with i think 12 to 17 um will probably be good enough for for most people um where you fall on that scale i don't know you're gonna have to you know play around and practice with it and see where you uh where you're happy but yeah 12 to 17 good good aim if you don't even like that much ambiguity and you're looking for one number uh go 15 you see it on my screen it works for me so um so yeah don't don't be afraid to aim for that if, if you want to just keep things simple um Okay, then going into mastery, uh, mastery is uh, not, I wouldn't say it's not great, especially if you're doing like progression rating, it can be a little bit more valuable. Um, but once everything is figured out, and especially this season and probably next season as well, where there are um, other healers who can raid heal a little bit more efficiently and more effectively than we can, you know, obviously we bring some utility that they don't, but in terms of like pure throughput and HPS, um, they can do things better and more, more efficiently. So I would say don't really target mastery, just let it fall where it falls. If you have mastery on some of your gear, especially tier pieces or anything like that, um, don't worry about it. You don't need to like eradicate it in order to be a good player. Um, just in, like, I would say just don't, don't target it. If it's on some gear, sure, whatever. But if you can replace that with uh, critical strike or uh, uh, versatility, then that that that's great. That's what you want to do. But don't don't fret too much about it. Just let your mastery let it happen. How it happens. Um, okay. Then the next uh, stats are critical strike and versatility, and those are the ones that are the most important for us at this moment in time, and I believe for the next season as well. Um, so critical strike, I would say, if you're new to the class. Um, or you know, just you're you're struggling, especially if you're struggling with mana, or you're you know, you're learning and you're trying to figure things out. I would say maybe go for critical strike a little bit more than versatility, um, and the reason for that is critical strike scales directly with resurgence, meaning that you're going to run out of mana um, less quickly. And for new players, that's that's big because a lot of new players, you know, maybe overcast or don't really know how to be as efficient as more experienced players. Um, that being said, if you are a new player, don't take that as an insult. You will get there. Um, but critical strike will help you not run out of mana if that's something you're struggling with. Um, versatility, on the other hand, is also something that's really great to aim for. Um, it's just going to like just from a raw standpoint increase the healing and the damage you do by a percentage based on how much versatility you have um and that's great for any environment especially if you're pushing uh higher keys or mythic plus i would say maybe you want to uh prioritize versatility a, a little bit more because it's going to help you survive some of those really high damaging mechanics but if you're in heroic or normal it's not as important um but yeah back on mythic plus so that's my specialty that's that's what i do um I have 16% versatility, and that has worked uh, up to you know 24s and 25s for surviving most things. Um, you know, in combination with some of my DR abilities like Spirit Wolf and Astral Shift, I find 16% is totally fine. Um, anything higher than that, unfortunately, I can't really say because I haven't gotten there yet. I think you may have to start prioritizing a little bit more versatility. Um, but if you're looking for a number, once again, what you see on my screen has worked for me, so you can go for that. Okay, uh, now, oh, and sorry, one more thing. I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video because it is important, but if you are a new shaman um, and you are, um, you know, you just hit 70 and you're gearing up, um, 
really don't even don't even look at stats all you're going for is item level up until maybe you get to like a little over item level 400 that's when you really want to start looking into and prioritizing what your gear actually has on it but until then item level is going to be king that's what you should be going for um and that's that's simple no questions that's what you should be going for um, okay, now moving on to, I guess, like you'd call them tertiary stats, which would be Leech, Avoidance, Speed, and Block. Um, Leech and Avoidance, uh, both great to have. So I think you can, for there's, and I could be incorrect here, I'm really sorry, I don't know everything off the top of my head, but I think there are two enchants right now. I think it's maybe like Boots and uh, Cloak that give you either Leech or Avoidance. Uh, at least you have the choice between the two. I would say if you're raiding, Leech is probably the, the better one to go for. Um, however, if you're running uh, higher Mythic Plus content, you definitely want to target avoidance because that is once again going to help you uh, survive some of those abilities and since it infinitely scales with mythic plus you are always going to hit a point where things are going to one shot you so avoidance having more avoidance will um, make it so it takes longer to get to that point with aoe abilities um, and then for mythic plus for leech personally i think it's a little bit overkill i uh, usually you can you know keep yourself alive without leech and um, but that being said like it you can play around with it if you want that's that's once again that's just what's what has worked for me and, and my opinion on it but so i would say if you're raiding go for leech if you are doing mythic plus go for a avoidance um, next speed uh, so never sacrifice anything else for speed like i don't know if there are any enchants out there that do that but don't don't bother with it um speed kind of just you get lucky if there's some on your gear um and it's always great to have but I, it's not something you necessarily want to be targeting uh and then block so block is going to come with a shield if you are uh, running one um and i know the question here is is block going to help you survive like should you be prioritizing you know running a single hander and a shield over maybe a two-hander like a staff um and the answer is no like if you have a major upgrade that's a staff and it's going to make you lose the block do not worry about it it's not really helping you that much there's not really um there, it's not really helping you because there's very rarely are you actually being targeted by um, mobs that are attacking you and um, yeah so so once again the benefits you may get from like having a really good staff upgrade over your one hander and shield is probably going to be better than the block that the shield provides so um, so yeah that that's it once again this was just a super quick guide I, if you really want an in-depth analysis of any of this or you want to like you know uh, have a discussion about it i would say bring it to the uh shaman discord you know you can ask someone who does the theory crafting or you know you can read up yourself in uh, icy veins or wowhead but um yeah anyways hope this was helpful for you and i will be i guess i'll see you next time with uh, whatever video i make next